Hi, this is Tony Papajohn from MoneyMindWorks.com. Let me share with you an ancient bit of wisdom that was as wise and as telling of human nature, as revealing of human nature, 2300 years ago as it is today. Know thyself. This was inscribed above the entrance to the temple at Delphi in ancient Greece, and it means as much to people today as it did 2300 years ago or whenever somebody came up with this bit of wisdom. When you know yourself, when you understand who that person is that you see in the mirror, I submit to you that it tells you a lot about the kind of business, the kind of activity, the kind of, of, of place that you have in the money-making, opportunity-seeking, fortune-building world. Because you know who you are. You know a lot about yourself. You know your traits, qualities, characteristics, your interests. You know what really, what, what really floats your boat, what really uh, charges your battery. When you know this about yourself, you know a great deal. Let me tell you a, a story about myself that I came to realize just the kind of person that I am, the kind of place that I take in the marketplace. I was at one of these uh, events that the Learning Annex used to do for real estate, real estate money-making expo or something like that. And Donald Trump was the featured speaker on Sunday evening. And so Donald Trump gets there and he carries on and um, like, uh, yeah, he's, a, he's, he's a great guy. I really like Donald Trump. I have to admit, till I heard him speak a couple times, I wasn't sure I really liked him much, but I like him after hearing him speak. And so uh, at the end of the speech, he takes questions, and I'm sitting way in the back, and I thought, you know, by the time that I get up there, there's about a mob scene of two people in front of, uh, of, of uh, two lines, rather, in front of microphones. I'm never going to get up there by the time he gets done. People jumped out of their seats, and I thought, oh, nuts. I did. If I'd known that, I'd have sat up closer. Uh, but I'm thinking to myself, if I could ask Donald Trump a question, here's what I'd ask him. I'd ask him, what makes you tick? What makes you Donald Trump? What makes you the kind of guy, the kind of person, the entrepreneur, the real estate developer that we've heard of that makes the mega success that you have made. What is there about you? How do you arrange yourself inside so that the Donald Trump we know and some of us love is the Donald Trump that we know and some of us love? So as I'm thinking these thoughts, somebody asks Donald Trump this question. He says, you put together limited partnerships. He says, I put together limited partnerships. What do you do to protect yourself against your limited partners who may get mad at you because they don't like the way you're doing things? What language do you put in your uh, contracts, in your all your legal stuff, to protect yourself? And Donald Trump says, that's the, that's the kind of question every one of you should be asking me. And I thought immediately, well, I guess that's why I'll never be a billionaire, because that's not the question. It would never have crossed my mind to even ask Donald Trump that question. I want to know what goes on inside his head, not what I put on a form to protect me against limited partners. So in that moment, not that I didn't know this before, but it really drove the point home that I'm really not the entrepreneur type, per se, in that I, I'm more of a sort that I'm, I'm intensely curious about the mind. And so my entrepreneurial endeavors have to be directed at something with which I have an intense interest. And that's how the mind works. So if I could get Donald Trump on my psychiatrist couch, which I'm not a psychiatrist, but I guess if I had uh, been a doctor, that's the profession, that's what I would like to have done. I'd want to know what makes him Donald Trump, what makes him work, what makes him tick. And that's how I approach everything that I do in this coaching endeavor that I'm uh, involved in. I want to know what makes people tick and how can I help them rearrange things so that they can tick a whole lot better and make a whole lot more money. So I grant, I'll, I'll tell you this, you have a story like that yourself. There is something about you, some story about you, that reveals who you are and the value and the talents, abilities, and, and inclinations, attributes that you bring to your marketplace. I don't know what that story is, but I know 
that as you trust your mind, your mind will tell you what that story is. And then, if you don't know it already, and you might know it already, but if you don't know it already, I tell you this, when you know what that story is, you know a lot about yourself, and you also have, right in front of you, right, a path that now all of a sudden perhaps becomes clear, and it may not have been clear up to this point. But as you, dis as you discover this story, if you don't already know it, about you that tells you who you are, then the path opens before you because you know who you are and you know the value that you bring to your marketplace. My name is Tony Papajohn. You'll find me online at moneymindworks.com. I invite you to take my free nine-part video series that will empower your mind for more success and more money. Uh, my blog is, money, is uh, yourmoneymindworks.com. Yeah, I've got a listing of free teleseminars there. In the meantime, know thyself, and the more you know thyself, the more you will make a lot of money.